Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. has got the juices flowing and now this They do appear, Jim Beglin, to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Conservatism would appear to be at play, Peter. However, we don't quite know what their motives are just yet. It could well be as it looks, but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two. This system can accommodate that. And I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response, and it's not going to be all defence. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning-fast reactions and all-round shot-stopping ability make him... Going for goal! given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Hungary go ahead, one goal to the good. Rabio. Gets good distance on it. Pavar. Popper. Rafael Varan. Moves it over to the other flank. And it's great. He's had a shot! And the ball's come out! I really don't think he could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. Griezmann. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Griezmann, dinks one in, Mbappe, Mbappe! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling, his reflexes were ultra-sharp. Good thinking by the keeper, he did well. 
Hungary have it back and they can go again. Drives it towards the front. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Grabio. And it's Griezmann. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Grab goes for goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Or well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Hoists it forward. Kimpembe positions himself well and cuts it out. Just brushed off the ball there. Mbappe. And it's played forward. Good take, and he's had a look. Steered forward. Hernandez. Rabio. Gorgeous control there. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Pogba. Baran drives it forward. Pavar goes for the cross. Defending of the desperate variety. And now the breakaway. And it's Benzema. Benzema clips one through. Shot at goal! He scored! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. has certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Pogba. Tries to switch the play. Ah, oh, he's not going to get that. Hungary have a free kick. Hits one! Keeper's not concerned by that. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way in front. Benzema. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Hernandez. Griezmann. Pogba. Looking to get within range. Hits one.
Sarai desperately wants to get on the end of this. And here's Benzema, and it's Griezmann. Hernandez keeps everyone guessing. Pogba. Pavar. Mbappe. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Well, the scoreline indicates a pretty tight game, but there has been a lot of action in it, and it has been an exceptionally good watch. The score at half-time, 1-1. So once again, we're underway. Conte, Griezmann, Hernandez. It's come loose. Forward it goes. And here's Benzema. Mbappe, he's gone for it! It's in! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen, and this is a very welcome tonic now. Uh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. France get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Pogba. Pavard. Pogba. Rabio. Pogba. Rabio. Plays it back. And here's Griezmann. Benzema. Chance to get it forward quickly. The ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. Pogba. And it's played forward. Benzema plays it out to the flank. Pogba. Pogba has been caught there, it's a foul. That's a fine save. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's Benzema. He's had a look. Conte played back in. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Deftly done. Around with the clearance. The 
They've played it short. Massive leap! Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Rabiot. Well, it's obvious why they're still trailing. They're not enjoying enough possession. Conte. Kimpembe. Hernandez. Kimpembe. Hernandez. That'll be a throw. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Griezmann, out to the left it goes. Rabio puts it into the middle. Knocks it away. Oh, that's nice. Plenty waiting in the middle. Griezmann. It's Griezmann! And that would have won it. Griezmann has reacted in utter shock here. For him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible. Baran cuts it out. Out to the right. Played into the middle. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And it's Dina. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Forward it goes. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Goalkeeper's ball. Dinia. And here's Griezmann. Oh, sweet feet. He hits it! Defense has got rid of that. Griezmann. He's got options out wide. Well, some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Well played, he saw that coming. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Hungary have thrown it away. It was in their grasp and they let it go. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone conclusion. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.